Why are there two of her? I am a shadow. The, the true self. self. It's Miss President's shadow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the real one with me. I'll never let you catch me! Leopard's devil gives you a glare of pure malice before carrying off the original, fleeing the scene. I almost chase after her without thinking, but stop myself and reconsider. The second Labrys, who was that? Everything I thought I knew had been overturned by this what turn of she? events. You seem to know. First, tell me something. Why was she in so much pain? What's all this about Labrys and weapons? I'm sorry, but that's classified. It's not for civilian ears. Then I won't tell you anything about her. If you want to know what I know, you have to tell me what you know first. <laughs> That may have sounded too much like I don't care if she's in pain. It wouldn't be unreasonable to demand that she tells me everything she knows without offering something in return. As, as she's already seen Labrys' true form, so I give a well, small thought. I suppose you're involved now. All right, her official name is Fifth Generation Anti Shadow Suppression Weapon, codenamed Labrys. She is an android weapon created by the Kirijo group years ago. In order to use Persona abilities, she was given a heart. She's a machine? Gujikawa's shocked expression conveys her thoughts as perfectly as we if she's couldn't let her run free. Just look at the trouble she's caused. We came to retrieve her and minimize any damages. I hold back in no details in telling her of the crucial, cruel experiments she must have underwent during her deployment. Gujikawa takes it in and quietly sighs. So when she said she didn't want to remember, that's what that was about. <sighs> Hey, why didn't you listen to what she was trying to say? She said that she didn't want to remember, but you kept pushing your demands on her and making her feel bad. That's... I pause, considering her accusation. She may be right. Indeed, I was so desperate to put an end to the case, I didn't listen to what Lavrish You gave her a say. heart because you needed her to have one, and then kept treating her like that. No wonder she's in pain. Tears stream from the girl's eyes. As angry as she is, she's crying for Lapras. I cannot do Mitsuru's voice. I'm sorry, guys. Even after seeing her true mechanical form and learning that she is a re weapon, Kujikawa has nothing but compassion for Lapras. Why are you Lapras. siding with Lapras so much? I heard her voice a few times. It sounded like it was from her past. She said she was forced to fight when she didn't want to. That she was hurt and afraid. I prefer... Um, executioner down the hall. <laughs> I see. Kujikawa also heard the voice just as I did when she used her persona. Kujikawa slowly tells me what has happened in the last year, the reasons why she came to Inaba. How, due to her career as an idol, she was cut off from those who knew her for what, who she was, leaving her isolated. How, when she had lost faith in everything, she met people who would believe in her, saving Someone her life. Someone to believe in, huh? Hearing that brought up a sore point for me. She's Miss President's shadow. I tell Kujikawa the details I had previously said Kujikawa. I couldn't reveal. The repressed desires you don't want to admit? Here, they take on a life of their own. So that's why. Then what's her ultimate goal? Why did she take Labrys? Shadows. They try to become real. It confronts the original with weaknesses to make them deny that the shadow's part of them. Also, it can take their place. I see. Then there's no time to lose. Do you think you can save her? A shadow doesn't disappear until the original person accepts it. That's what I must believe in, support her. Even if it's left unsaid, I can still understand Kujikawa's desire. Kujikawa, let me amend my earlier statement. I didn't come here just to minimize the damage. I came to save everyone. Will you trust me on that? <sighs> She looks into my eyes, and after wiping her face with a handkerchief, she nods Make slightly. sure you listen to what Labrys wants to say this time, okay? I fully intend to. Kujikawa smiles in embarrassment. She apologized to me for taking such a spiteful tone. I can tell she's being honest and sincere. Kujikawa promises to cooperate as much as possible for Labrys' sake. I decide to have her contact her friends and pass on a simple explanation of the situation. She agrees, and asks that she'll try and contact Akihiko and Aikis as well. She seems to have grasped 
at how our safeguards against how our safeguards against detection by personas Speaking work. with you made me understand something important. Thank you for that. <laughs> it must be that smile of yours that catches your audience's heartstrings. Promise me then. Make sure you come back with her. Spurred on by her words, I begin running to where I detect Lapras ought to be. Though I don't yet have a plan to save her. If I find her and listen, find her again and listen this time, will it truly be enough to save Lapras? The invisible walls are still here, leading me to the music room. According to the guide map, I should have been further away, but with just just as the announcement room, the layout of this version of the school is off. Who are you? Someone else is already inside. He frowns upon seeing me. I recognize his face from the video. Huh. The walls are still here. Does that mean the Grand Prix rules are still being enforced? Wow, that was a weird accent thingy. As a test, I hold out a hand to the space where I just entered the room. It seems we're locked in. The rule against proceeding without fighting is still in effect. Uh, are you Kirijo-san by any chance? Rise got in touch with me. I am indeed Mitsuru Kirijo. As I recall, you were the sister com... Uh, no. Your name was... Narukami. There doesn't seem to be anything scrambling our senses. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't sense any noise, but I can't help to ask. Wow, she's becoming English. Oops. He nods, showing he understands Risa the told question. me you were out to save Miss President. Labrys, her name was? That's right. But I must act swiftly. There's no noise here because our enemy thinks we'll be hesitant to fight in our right minds. Would you mind conceding? I don't want to drag you into this any further. I understand, but I can't do it like that. Narukami gives a wry smile before his explanation flat flattens again. If the rules are still in effect, my friends are still trapped. They still need someone to rescue them. I've fought battles I didn't want and taken on a lot of responsibilities, which includes saving Labrys, of course. It's not that I don't believe you, but I don't think it's right to simply hand the burden over to someone I just met. I see. Sorry, this must be frustrating to you. No, don't misunderstand me. I have no objections. I admire your willingness. With the final battle awaiting ahead, perhaps it's best that the stronger of us two should be the one to proceed. The atmosphere in the area changes. Narukami senses his will and readies his weapon. It's strange, but he reminds me of someone. Although his fighting stance, physique, and features are completely different. He still reminds me of the one who saved us from the entire I world. I like the look in your eyes. I will test your resolve with my sword. I've won. I will move on. I hold up my hand to Narukami, who has collapsed on the floor to help him up. Fortunately, I won the match. Although, in fighting these people, I have come to see them but in But first, I have something to ask you. 
In his world, the encounter not leads to an immediate win or lose situation. His, this world, not his world. That is why I intend to limit my interactions with others. All I felt regarding these students was regret for dragging them into this mess. But in order to be sure I can save Labrys, I feel I'll need their help. Since they have more experience in this world, they're the most likely closer you to You said that you want to save Labrys too, but you barely know her. She isn't human and has been through things that aren't easy to understand. What? Oops. Arakami quietly closes his eyes Nothing before Nothing in particular. But I could have stood at her side at the very least. At her side? Oh. A number of things dawned on me with Narakami's words. Though I had resolved fighting by myself, I wasn't truly alone. I had family and friends who supported me. But Lapras was alone. She fought against the same demons who shared her fate, and after escaping this world, she had no one. I see. I understand now. He politely under underlined something important I had overlooked. He's not the first to show me a new perspective like this. This warm sensation that spreads within me. I understand now. That's why Nurakami reminded me of him. You really do remind me of an old friend. I do? Yes. Though he's more than just a friend. I owe my life to him. I attempt to contact Kujikawa again. When she responds, I give her another record request. She eagerly agrees. And Narukami, who's listening in, well, nods then, in satisfaction. I'll be going now. To save Labrys. There's no hesitation now. I have seen what must be done. I must go forth and keep my promise with them. Labrys will be saved. I'm certain of it now. In order to pursue the escaped shadow, I stop briefly and attempt to locate it with my persona. It's on the move, but it's headed to the- Kujikawa, ah. can you hear me? The shadow is headed to the announcement room again. I've already picked up on her and got out. Also, I've managed to reach friends. I was just talking to someone named Igis. Kujikawa said, says she never tried to contact multiple people at once, but with a little practice, she picked up the knack. Her persona support skills are advanced indeed. In contrast to my own inability to contact my friends against this noise without linking my persona to the communicator, she easily located Akihiko and Igis. Really, she's quite I guess, talented. can you hear me? I need you to keep Kujikawa safe. Understood. The shadow's presence is nearby. I retrace my steps to the announcement room and open the door, ready to end this. Uh-oh. My, my. You've come. come. Sorry, Sorry, but you're too late. late. You really you helped me out, me. though. You, you were pretty were hard on this girl, girl weren't you? you? I... I... The expression drains from Labrys' face as she learns angrily to it herself. The shadow must be hammering at Labrys' psyche in order to have Labrys Look deny herself. Me. We've got a guest. This human's here to take, take us back. back. She'll never understand how we feel. A, a typical, typical human. human. Stop! Don't say anymore! Labrys. I step between Labrys and her shadow and draw my weapon. The shadow looks at me, and her voice boils over with hatred. What's this all about? Uh-huh. Of course. It, it would be a problem, problem if she were destroyed, destroyed while you were retrieving, retrieving her. Huh? Retrieve? No! This has got nothing to do with me! How I long are you gonna lie to yourself? yourself? It's about time you face reality. You, you want the everyday, everyday boys and girls to experience what you have to go through, right? That's why we're in a school, having a fighting tournament. You want to see close friends fight for their lives against each other. Because if they do that, then they might understand. You want to make them understand. That ain't true! But it didn't work. <laughs> Kirijo marched in here and spoiled your fun. It's all right, though. You don't have to worry about that anymore. I'll take care of everything from here. I'll destroy anyone who doesn't understand you and comes to get in your way. Just like you once did. Oh, no! That ain't what I want! You're... She has my wires at Lavers' purpose. You're not me! Lapras' rejection seems to have crossed some line. I can sense the shadow's power rising dramatically in response That's to her right. words. I'm myself! I'm free! Even, Even if I'm a, a misunderstood, misunderstood machine. machine, I 
I'll escape from all this! Gone berserk. But there should still be time. I'll make you settle down. I support Lavers who slumped over and make my attention What's plain. With you, you hypocrite? The way you've been acting pisses me off. How can you be so kind to her? No matter what you do, it won't erase your sins. Fine. Since you're a Kirijo, why not tell you exactly what your family did to me? What they made me do? Shadow thrust her weapons toward me and sensing me to judge Remember me. those spectating students? What did you think those human shaped silhouettes were? Hmm? Interesting, I've never heard this before. For a moment, her unaccepted shifts in topics catches those me off guard. Shadows of the prototypes, you made her destroy. When they were destroyed, their information was transferred to the victor. What's left of their hearts remains deep inside Labyrinth. That's right. They all have a soul. But because they never fully developed, their shadows helped her play school after they separated from her. Do you see? Those spectators you saw everywhere were her sisters she had to kill at the Kirijo group's orders. Interesting. I thought it was just kind of a fake thingy. I'm at a loss for words. I can only stand there. I haven't up. forgotten. I'll never let their memories or their pain go! I won't forgive anyone who tries to take my freedom! Her anger, it's justified. It's natural for her to hold a grudge after what I we did to them. I acknowledge your anger and grief. Setting things right here is my way of atoning. This fight will release you from your curse once and for all. After a, finger quotes, fierce battle, the shadow finally falls silent and stops resisting entirely. I go to elevate Labras and help bring her around. When she regains consciousness, she looks at me with sorrow and resignation. Am I gonna be alone again? What am I saying? Of course I am. After all I've done? No. No one will lock you away ever again. Huh? I thought I had a firm grasp on things. But in the end, all I did was drive you into a corner. I'm sorry. Why? Why is Akirito apologizing to a machine? I mean, I, I hurt people. Dragged them into my own mess. I'm just like I was before. There ain't no reason to forgive me. That is solely your opinion. Huh? Kujikawa, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Is that... Rise-san? That's right. You've met her too, and... It seems Kurokashu accomplished what I asked her to earlier. I wanted her to use her persona ability to collect the voices of her friends directly to Labyrinth. Some of the, some of them I've met, while some I don't know at all. In truth, some of them may find it hard to forgive Labyrinth for dragging them into this, even after learning the circumstances. But 
I believe in them. Uh, well, the truth, I only saw you for a second, so I ain't really sure what's going on. Uh, but it seemed like you went through a lot. Anyway, hope things start looking up. It's way too simple. Can't you think of anything better to say? <laughs> hey, it ain't simple at all. I know damn well how tough it is to see a shadow come out of yourself. Yeah, we've all been through the same thing. So we'd suck pretty bad if we didn't forgive you. You caused me a lot of trouble, but it was still kind of fun. Kind of. <laughs> Teddy. They know how to accept someone for who they are, regardless of her looks. That's why even Labras, even if the Labras is a machine, they will surely welcome her. I'm confident of it. And indeed, they respond to Labras with more warmth than I had thought. What you saw wasn't the whole picture, right? That's just how our hearts are. I concur. None of us can cast stones after you've gone through the hardship of facing your shadow. That aside, I'm just glad you're okay. I was worried about you. I left you alone knowing you couldn't use a persona. Labras, when you come back, we should talk. Senpai's right, and not just us. Sister, can you hear me? I too would like to talk with you. There's something I'd like to tell you. You may know it already, but still. The voice is chi chiming in, gentle, warm, and kind. I can't help but be touched as well. My words alone could not have accomplished oh, this. Why? I... You are a machine, unlike us. That is undeniably true. There will be days to come when you are tormented by solitude and caged by your own weakness. But one thing will be very different. Starting today, you are not alone. Whether she's a machine or human has no bearing on her suffering. To be questioned of the weight of despair, so it seems to no end to the pain that one cannot get through any longer. I'm no stranger to those feelings myself. It was always someone else, such as my friends and family, who saved me. But when you're alone, it's difficult to see a way out. You can't find it unless someone else shows you. That's why I learned about the extraordinary power to drive from one's Companionship relationships. Companionship is the greatest guide. In my mission here, I've come to be reminded of that. We hope to become that guide for you as well. If you're not alone, you can stand to face the most painful of truths. Face the truth. Lapras' gaze turns torn towards her own shadow. There is no more fear in her eyes. She understands I now. I see. I get it now. I watch over her as she stands up. No words pass between us, but I am to say here for her. That may be enough. This is my persona. <laughs> 